Hi friends, happy Friday or whenever you're watching this. I am filming this on Friday, April 14th. We love that. Today is actually the day that I met my dog Bella for the first time as you just saw in my lock screen. It's not gonna... Oh, it's because I keep putting my face. I like do this so I can see what I'm showing you, but then it's focusing on my face. So yeah, that's all right. Forget what I just said. Anyways, so yeah, today I'm going to be doing a little day in my life. Try to make it productive, but we'll see how the day goes. I'm kind of doing this last minute because I wanted to film something today. It's a beautiful day and it has been a beautiful day the past couple days. So I've been enjoying outside. If you know me, I'm usually not outside when it, the temperature gets warmer because I do struggle with the heat and I always get a headache. It makes me super tired. It's just really hard to function after I've been in the heat or in the sun. But it's unfortunate because I, I want to be in the sun. It's just that my body struggles with it. So as it's getting warmer i'm trying to just go out hopefully maybe my body will get used to it this year i'm trying to be outside more this summer so because it's a beautiful day i was just like you know what i'm kind of in the mood to film a youtube video but i just didn't know what to film so we're just gonna do a day in the life so as you can tell i just woke up not too long ago i woke up at like 8 50 ish about an hour ago and i'm still not ready so i was sitting here thinking of what i might film today and eventually i was like kaylee by the time we figure something out the day is probably going to be halfway over so just do a little day in your life i got a shower cleaning to do around the house and make some breakfast i mean i did just have a granola bar but i'm also trying to get better with eating another meal because i do tend to only eat dinner which is really bad so i'm trying to either incorporate breakfast or lunch into my day as well i really should pick up some of my room like at least the clothes off my floor i do have some things i can be doing today so why not take you guys along with me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let's go take a shower. <laughs> So this is what we're working with. <laughs> they ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't. <laughs> so I need to put these in the dryer. They're clean. They've just been sitting here. I never folded them. So I need to put those back in the dryer to get wrinkles out. And then once those are in the dryer, I can start throwing these in here, you know, as much as I can to wash and just pick this up. These all were clean. <laughs> they were from when I moved out of college, which was literally in October. It's April. So it was November, December, January, February, March. Six months ago. So when I moved out of college, I put the rest of my clothes, like just, they were folded on here. And then now they're not. <laughs> when I would go to, you know, find someone to wear that was clean, it ended up turning to, into this after six months. So I haven't worn any of these clothes in six months. But since they've been on the floor, they're dirty now, so those gotta get washed. We're just gonna pick up this area. These are things I have to hang up, but my closet is full. I have to get rid of a lot of clothes, donate them, sell them, like whatever, because I have no more room in my dressers. So that's that's why I left them there. Let's pick this stuff up.
Okay, it's still a mess over here. Obviously, I gotta sweep. That's an old rug. Obviously, these are gonna hang up and stuff. Probably just wash those too, anyways. Bunch of backpacks. <laughs> but it looks better than it did, right? Time to wash. tell that I just blow dried my hair on a hot spring day. I almost said summer. That's what people normally say. But yeah, me too. Well, even though this is a little more exposed, my face is redder than a tomato. You can't really tell. Maybe that's better. <laughs> okay, this is the part where I gotta cool down for a minute because my heat intolerance. I did hear that that gets better when you lose weight because it's harder for people who are overweight to cool down. And I'll be honest, I'm not at a healthy weight. I've gained a lot of weight, especially since I stopped doing cheer and like going to school, you know, I'm home all the time. And being that we just went through winter, like I just wasn't really moving as much. I wasn't really going anywhere. So um, I'm definitely more motivated to like move my body in the summer. I mean, despite the heat, I just, I do more stuff. I swim. This year I have a bike that I'll be riding. I go on more walks with Bella you know I just move more so hopefully we can uh, lose some weight this summer I didn't fully blow dry my hair if you can tell I never fully blow dry my hair because if I do it'll take like an hour or something that's a long time to be standing there with heat when it's already hot at least it'll help it air dry quicker um because I've dried most of it there's just still parts that are wet because if I don't blow dry my hair my hair takes like six to eight hours to dry on its own especially in the summer like even though it's like warm in the summer you'd think it would dry quicker there's more water in the air like humidity so it takes longer. I didn't need to give you all that speech, but I should go make something to eat. I do want avocado toast. I made that last time. If you watched my last video, I was struggling because the avocado was not ripe enough, but I was still trying to make it work. I have this one avocado. It's been in front of the sun by the window for a few days. I felt it this morning. It still kind of felt like it wasn't ready. Maybe it's just the brand we're getting. I'm not sure, but these ones take a long time to ripen. And then like in my mind, I'm like trying to eat them as soon as I can thinking that they're going to you know, go bad, but they're taking their sweet time. Maybe it's not avocado season. I don't I don't even know what avocado season is. Caught. Caught red-handed. No. Anyone else's dog obsessed with pillows? Or should I say puppy? Because she's, I don't know if she's technically considered a puppy, but I still call her a puppy because she's only a year old. All right, that was it. She originally gave me her toy. I was gonna vlog, show you guys, but then I started talking. She was like, pillow time, because that's what she does. Did you know that we met today, a year ago? Do you remember? We met right in here, yeah. It's like over there. And you, you did so good meeting me. Normally she is not good at meeting people, but for whatever reason, she was perfectly fine meeting me. She wasn't ever once scared of me. She's crazy because she's not good with meeting new people. So I don't know. I mean, like she acted like she had seen me before and like, oh my gosh, you're home from college. Yeah, I'm so happy to see you. But no, we hadn't seen each other before. That was crazy. I mean, I'm obviously glad that she did good meeting me for the first time, but it's like so weird that I, I really think I'm the only one she's ever been fine meeting for the first time, which is, I mean, I'm honored, but everyone else she's met, she, she does not like it like right away. And with me, she, I mean, she was wagging her tail. Maybe she just knew we were going to be best friends. They say that your um, previous pet that passed away, they send you your next pet. And since our dog Roxy passed away in February, last February and we got Bella two months later, maybe it's true. Maybe that's why Bella was so good meeting me because Roxy sent me her. It's actually so cool. Avocado. I don't think it's ready yet. It feels like it will be either tomorrow or the next day. I don't want to risk it. If it's not really sinking in, no, it's still really hard. Which means the ones in the fridge definitely aren't too because they aren't, they don't ripen in the fridge apparently. No, at least not ours. We just got a new fridge. Maybe it's like really kicking. Eventually they would, like maybe after a month. <laughs> But I literally just had you in our cupboard because I didn't know where to put you. I basically never know where to put you when I'm in the kitchen. It's very bright. Yeah, I 
the settings that I was using that another YouTuber uses, they they don't work for me. But it looks really good for them. But see, why is this not adjusting? It I did have it on a setting where it was, but now it's back to me doing it, which I don't like. I don't really know what I want to make to eat because I was really looking forward to avocado toast. But I'm not going through that hassle again. If you know, you know. The last video. We do have leftover pizza. Is anyone else like me who loves cold pizza? Why not just have some cold pizza? Mm. I just brushed my teeth, so it's kind of weird, but there's something about cold pizza that just hits different. I do love warm pizza. Like, if, if you're getting pizza delivered, yeah, I want it hot, but the next day, I won't be warming it up. I'm having it cold. The flavor is just, like, different in a good way. I love it. I gotta bring the recyclables outside. Old garbage out. New garbage in. All right, ignore the dryer, or I think it, that's the washer, I think, it's just right there. Now I'm just going to enjoy the outside for a bit. Beautiful weather, like I said. I purposely put this on so that I hopefully get a good tan on my shoulders because what happens is, you guys know I normally wear like t-shirts and stuff, so anytime I'm outside and I tan, there's always that t-shirt like tan mark. So, especially in the beginning of the summer, I wanna, when I do tan, I wanna try to wear like straps like this so that it can really tan my arms. I normally don't do this because again, I don't like being in the heat, but I'm trying to get better at that. I just want to get a better tan this year because in the, you know, in the past when I was in cheer, I'd go to cheer camp, I'd hang out with friends outside. I was just outside more. I thought a bug just fell. Yeah, those bugs, they've been like around here. Those elder bugs, I didn't show you in this video, but I did just kill one earlier. Sorry, I know I hate to be like a bug killer, but when they're in the house and then they like bring them outside, they just make more bugs. I don't know. They've just, they've been around too long this year. I don't know what their problem is. Usually they only come out in the fall. They've been around all winter because we have an elder bug tree or whatever it's called elderberry yeah there's one right there uh, oh wait no that's a wasp yikes i got stung by a bee on my birthday you guys remember that that vlog oh my gosh no i just got stung by a bee on my birthday no freaking way well happy birthday that's fun october 3rd anyways what was i saying i used to be outside more so i would get a really good tan in the summer i go back and i watch my snapchat videos and i'm like oh my gosh you were so tan and i haven't had a really really good tan in a long time because i've just been inside plus these past, past couple years i was so busy trying to like edit a ton i was so behind on my videos if you know you know so i just be inside editing those point is we're gonna be outside more this year we're gonna get a good tan this year no excuses we are going to get tan this year the sun's hitting really good right here. It's also like noonish, so I'm probably gonna end up getting burnt. I didn't put sunscreen on, my bad. I'm gonna chillax here. Then when I go back in, I got some cleaning to do. Gotta do that laundry stuff. Hopefully no bug's gonna get me. And I'm just gonna relax. If it's nice where you guys are, go outside. Even if it's like 20 minutes, 30 minutes, I should probably only be out like 30 minutes or so considering what's the UV rays and I don't have sunscreen on. I feel like I burn easily, so I'm probably still gonna get burnt, but what's the UV rays? Right now, seven. Yeah, it says use sun protection and I'm not. So I'll only be out here a little bit and just enjoy it because next week we're gonna be in the 40s again. It's like 80 right now. I'm currently now tanning my back. Bella is not liking this because her uh, her lead can't get it. Oh, she got it. Of course, there's now drool on me. <laughs> oh, I didn't know your lead got here. Either you broke it or it actually does make it this way, but you were struggling. She was having a hard time yesterday. Good. I took my socks off. She's gonna eat them. All right, <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, Bella. Okay, <laughs> can I tan my back, please? So here's my thing that I've been thinking of. Okay, I really didn't think you could get back here. This might not work. It's just like when I lay on my stomach. Anytime I do a plank or something and then like go on the ground like this, she hates it. All right, you're gonna get your lead stuck around me. Can I talk to them, please? I just do that. So what was I saying? So one thing that I did find tricky last summer too when I did want to come outside is so obviously she has to be on her lead because we can't fully trust her to be off of it yet. Our last dog didn't have to be on a leash at all unless we like actually took her for a walk obviously but I don't know when we have family cookouts she actually does okay being off her leash but she has gotten a little more uh, risky going like in the neighbor's yard off her lead so we obviously can't have that. She doesn't like just walk in the road, but she can't be walking in people's yards either. And she's just curious, you know? I do think eventually at some point in her life, she'll be fine just cause for the most part, she does stay with us. But I don't know. Point is, if I want to hang outside in the summer, she has to be on her lead, but then she can't get like as far as I go. Like if I go out way in the backyard or even over here, I didn't even know she'd get 
Okay. So then she's like, she can't see me sometimes or she wants to be where I am, but her lead won't go there. But I pay on what I'm doing. I can't just hold her leash the whole time. So then the other part of me is like, maybe just leave her inside in her crate or something so she won't get into anything. So then I'm like, I don't want to do that because then I feel bad. Like then I would try to hurry up outside so then she can get out, you know? So it is really hard with a dog that can't be off their leash because, you know, Roxy, for example, I could go anywhere in the yard. She, she could follow me. She could do her own thing and she wouldn't, she wouldn't, uh, go anywhere she shouldn't. There were times where she would go in the neighbor's yard actually, but she was actually really, really good with that for the most part. So, uh, so this is just, I didn't know her. <laughs> She's stepping on me. Okay. <laughs> Bella also has like a separate <laughs> separation anxiety. So she has to be where I am. That's the other thing too. Okay. Come on. 10 more minutes, please. I can't tan if you're covering the sun. Do you know I'm gonna get burnt? Okay. You don't need to step. You're gonna break my phone. I mean, there's a screen protector, but still, your paws are like 50 pounds of each. Bella, can you please move? I'm not even tanning. You're just gonna give more time. Come on, move. Yeah, you're stuck now, huh? Go back. Good girl, good girl. <laughs> All right, I just got done tanning. While I'm out here, let's just do our Italian. If you watched the last vlog, you know what I'm talking about. I'm learning Italian, and let's do today's. Ooh, today's the hard level. The man. Una donna. A woman. I am the man. I am the girl. Lo sono la ragazza. We're speeding. A man, a woman. You're crushing this. Yeah, I am. I'm speeding through this. Lo sono un ragazzo. I am a boy. Io sono la donna. I am the woman. I am the man. Lo sono l'uomo. Io sono la ragazza. I am the girl. I gotta work on my pronunciation. A boy is, shoot, a boy is un ragazzo. ragazzo. Sorry, they're on fire. A girl is una ragazza. A man is un uomo. <laughs> yeah, my pronunciation's horrible. Un uomo. The woman is la donna. I am a boy. Lo sono un ragazzo. A boy is un ragazzo. We did it y'all, perfect lesson. We just completed day 25. Only 3% of learners make it to day, a day 25 day streak. Well, I rock, so that's awesome. I can say that was hard. I mean, we've gone over those words like a bajillion times. I think I would, I would hope I'd know them by now. Okay, I had to put my hair down. Hopefully I got a good enough tan for now. It is gonna be a nice day the next couple days too, but I wanna make sure that I got out. I've been going outside the past couple days, so I'm proud of myself. But yeah, I think I definitely got burnt, at least on my legs um, and my knees. It's hard to tell on my camera because it's like really exposed, but a little bit red. My face burns easily too, so I wouldn't be surprised if that got burnt. But you know what, like I said, I didn't put sunscreen on, so if I get burnt, I deserve it. And honestly, it's really bad for like skin, but my mindset, which is like really bad, my mindset the past couple years has been like, oh, if I get burnt, then boom, that's that's instantly a tan right after. So I like used to not mind. It's obviously still really bad. The burn itself sucks, but the tan after a burn is just so good. Filming right here takes me back to those online Zoom school days. Yeah, I used to do my school here. I also did it in my room too, but in the beginning I was doing it right here. This was more like junior year, early pandemic, and then senior year was for the most part upstairs. Anyways, what's on the to-do list for cleaning slash chores? I'm gonna put the few dishes in the dishwasher, dust our little uh, shot glass stand, clean like the microwave area, clean the upstairs bathroom, fold my laundry. Let's get to it.
clean this bathroom. <laughs> fold my clothes for me? I'm just kidding. All right, so we're actually gonna fold them this time and put them in my hamper. I got more in the dryer and more in the washer. Then I still have dirty clothes upstairs and no room in my dressers. So if you're wondering why every time, like these past like couple years or so, all you've seen me is just wearing the same, same old, same old, is because it would be dumb of me to buy new clothes. <laughs> Considering I don't even have room for these ones. All right, the laundry is folded. Well, this side of laundry. So I got more to do later. I'm gonna go on a walk with Bella. I'm not gonna bring my camera though because obviously I'm gonna be walking her, but I'll try to get a clip or two on my phone if I can. I'm sure I will be able to. That was probably a really fast time lapse because that didn't take me long. Actually, before I take her on a walk, I never know where to go when I film. The Finch app is working on boosting my energy with me. One of the things it says is to splash really cold water on your face on your face and um, arms. So we're gonna do that. Oh, that was freezing. Ooh. That felt so good though. I definitely feel like my drone was popping. Go for a walk. Wanna go for a walkie. Well, yeah, let's go for a walkie. Come on. Oh, wrong way. Hours later. Hi friends, so it's a little bit later now. My head is absolutely pounding, but obviously it's because of the heat. I'm gonna get a quick little workout in, just something super simple. I'm gonna do my one minute plank. I've been trying to do a one minute plank every day and then eventually build my way up to um, like a minute and a half, two minutes. I might go by 15 seconds, so minute 15, th minute 30, that sort of thing. Just because there's a lot of benefits to planking every day and it'll keep me motivated if I keep trying to increase my time. We're gonna do a minute again today. I don't allow myself to go up 15 more seconds until I've had five days straight in a row of the minute. Well, that made sense. Then I'm gonna do a little eight minute arm workout, then do my like cheer arm workout, some squats. I'll do a few push ups. I don't really like doing push ups because my, my wrist pops um because i had an injury with it but just a few just better than nothing a little bit of stretching and yeah just something super simple it's hot today i've been busy but better than nothing i learned from last time not to have my socks on while i plank so since i'm already on carpet all right ignore if my form gets bad we can work on that okay three two one <laughs> I woke up this morning and my stomach was like really sore. I think it's just because I've been doing this. You know what I mean? Oh yay, today was my fifth one minute in a row. Oh, finally. I've been getting one minutes, but like then I'd have like my third day. I'd get to like 42 and have to stop. So tomorrow I'll be able to do my first try to get to one minute 15. Yay, I'll do my few push-ups now. Just a few. Actually, I already did some earlier. Also, I'm trying to learn to do push-ups. Like you know how guys do it and they, they like go i don't know if that was a good example like i feel like girls they do that you know whereas men they do like the choo, choo. so i heard that apparently this is the better way so i've been trying to do that it is a, in the beginning it's difficult because i'm not obviously used to doing them this way but okay hold on <laughs> like 
those are not good at all but i that way actually um does bother my wrist less i don't know i'm just not used to doing them that way but with time hopefully they, those will improve too okay let's do the arm workout oh another bonus about me doing the one minute plank thing every day is my finch suggests that i hold a plank for 10 seconds every day so obviously that covers that which is nice. It's adventuring right now. Oh, okay. I'll do the same one thing I'm grateful for before bed. I am grateful for... I'm trying to think of one that I haven't already said. Which obviously you guys wouldn't know what I said, but... I am grateful for sunsets. Because there's a sunset outside right now. Can you see? Yeah. So pretty. So I love sunsets. And sunrises, but I tend to see sunsets more. Because that's when I'm awake. I pretty much only ever see a sunrise if I pulled an all-nighter. Yeah. Yay. I don't know if I can sit or change the 10 second thing for the plank, but it's okay. I know I'm doing a minute. Day is almost done. Tap to see today's progress. I need an Apple Watch so it can... Like, I've walked more than that. I, this is just how many steps I've taken that I've carried my phone with me. You know what I mean? Obviously, I've done way more. It, that's the other thing about when I was in cheerleading. It never counted, obviously, all of those steps. But even if I had an Apple Watch then, like, I can't have a watch on when I'm cheering. So, it just... It can never... This is never going to be, like, 100% accurate. You know what I mean? 8 minute arm workout at 8 p.m. Yeah, you know it. No, but this is going to be such a vibe when Big Brother hits. Even though today is Friday as I'm filming this, 8 o'clock, Big Brother is the best. are so sore from the arm stuff I've been doing the past few days, but it's okay, we're gonna push through. I just why oh, just take a minute. A few moments later. Okay, now I gotta do my little arm circle theme a jag thing that I learned in cheer. Let's see how this goes. Looks easy, but it's not. Oh, my body is like, stop doing arms. <laughs> A few moments later. Okay, I just had to let my dog out to go potty. I'm just gonna do 20 squats. I'm ready to chill and watch all this blind. Okay, 20 squats. This is usually, usually what happens at the end of productive days, y'all. I'm just pooped out. Okay, just a little simple workout. Even though I'm acting like that was a whole marathon. Oh, this is my first like workout workout that I've done in the heat in a bit. Oh, if you have known me, you remember that one year I had to wear a knee brace? Cheer honestly messed up a lot of my <laughs> joints. My knees were one of them. We do a lot of squats in cheer because when you stunt, you actually use more of your leg muscle than you do your arms, which may be a surprise to you guys. But yeah, when you base or back spot, right, you just, you use more of your legs. So we had to, uh, squat a lot and do it work on a lot of our thigh muscle so anyways there was this one day um we had like a leg day it was like summer before tryouts and we did i don't even know how many squats but we did a lot we did all sorts of variations of squats and after that day i started having a knee issue because i think i like did something to my knee when we were doing all those squats and um ever since my knee's kind of been weird about squats but both of them were hurting today i don't know why so probably it might just be because my body's not used to it because I, I haven't really been doing squats but my body used to be used my body my body used 
My body used to be used to squats. I think I'm learning too much Italian because now I can't speak English. That's okay. Enough of the workout talk. I'm glad I got that done. Now, the moment I've been waiting for all day. I've been looking forward to this all day. That's why it's important when you guys have a productive day. This wasn't a tutorial video, but if you guys ever want to have a productive day, leave something at the end that like isn't technically considered productive, but is fun. So it keeps you going. So I did everything that I needed to today. Besides, I do have some more laundry to fold, but I did fold some laundry today, so I'll give myself that. I will just do the rest tomorrow. I need to relax. I've been doing a lot. And I'm gonna watch Love is Blind. And while I watch, I'm gonna paint my nails. There's this pretty color. It actually would have matched my outfit that I wore this morning. It doesn't say what the exact color is called, but it's like the peachy type. I got it for Christmas and I haven't used it yet. My nails are purple right now, but they're chipping, so I'm gonna paint my nails while I watch Love is Blind and then do like some stretching while I'm, I'm just gonna sit on the floor. Okay, I don't need to keep talking. <laughs> watching the finale of love is blind i never know whether or not to call that the finale it technically is like the weddings technically the finale but the finale finale is like the live reunion well this time it's a live reunion anyways i won't say anything about it because maybe you're watching love is blind so i won't spill the beans but if you're curious it's season four and then it was the last episode the wedding episode of season four <laughs> yeah this one's really tired we were just cuddling on the couch. I can put a little overlay on here. My nails, on the other hand, they could have came out better. The nail polish was a little bit sticky, so it kind of create. It was a little bit hard to like paint smooth. Whenever you paint with sticky nail polish, it makes like the air bubbles really bad. So they're not as smooth as, as my last set. My la when I painted my nails purple. They don't look horrible. Like, if someone were to look at them from afar, they look fine, which is why it, it's fine. It's just like when you feel them, they're not smooth, and you obviously want them to be smooth, but it's okay. They'll still look good. When they come out sticky, when they're fresh, they always feel worse than once you get used to them and you've washed your hands, and it, like, helps a little bit, but it's okay. They still look good from afar, so I ain't complaining. But, as you can see, this Bella Bear right here would love more than anything to go night night i do want to give her a little vanilla ice cream with peanut butter sauce though like just peanut butter melted just because even though it's not her birthday today is like really special because again that's the day i met her i just want to give her a little treat for like one year of being here with us i'm not really sure if she's looks like she's up to eat ice cream she's always gonna be up to eat ice cream but <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna do that quick and then end this video here and then I'm just gonna go upstairs and edit Yeah, I'm still gonna be productive. <laughs> That's okay. I do have some editing that I can get done So I'm gonna do as much of that as I can before I hit the hay myself. So let's go give her a little cup of ice cream yeah. Okay, I got the ice cream and the peanut butter. It melted really fast, but it's okay. There you go She's confused. She's like you never give this to me this I've never given her that before just something I thought of. The other day we had went to the ice cream shop. We had gotten her a little dog dish and it kind of gave me the idea of, oh, like we have vanilla ice cream at home. One day I should, well today I specifically thought of give her vanilla, vanilla ice cream with peanut butter sauce because she loves her peanut butter too. But yeah, anyways, so I had microwaved the ice cream a little bit just so it softened up. And then when I poured the hot peanut butter over it, it just melted instantly. Like honestly, I didn't even, I didn't even think about it. I didn't need to microwave the ice cream some since I was already pouring warm peanut butter sauce over it. It was just gonna melt that, but it's fine. She'll like, <laughs> do dogs get brain freezes? Cause like I never understood how they just keep on going without stopping. It's been a nice little treat. Plus being a hot day help cool her off and we're kind of going back and forth with having her sleep in the crate and her sleeping with me she doesn't mind sleeping in her crate at night she obviously would prefer to sleep with us i think though but because she is still a puppy and can get into things at night 
we're still some days doing the crate i don't i mean it probably isn't good to keep going back and forth but some days i'll let her sleep with me and then other days it's like crate time especially during the week we do the crate but on the weekends we kind of relax and she can sleep with me but even sometimes during the week she'll sleep with me too was that good so i'm gonna let her sleep with me tonight because one it's friday two today's the day that we met and obviously a year ago when we met she had to sleep in her crate which is funny i actually slept with her on the floor the night because i i didn't want to i didn't want to leave her was that good hopefully the peanut butter wasn't like hot that probably confused her she's like whoa the peanut butter is warm and ice cream's cold i didn't think about like if the peanut butter would like burn her <laughs> i don't think it should have been too bad it should have probably balanced out the ice cream probably cooled that down was that good did you like that what a great way to end the video that was do not even think about picking up that bowl because she does she likes to pick up things after she looks out of them good one time girl one time i was letting her look out of a bowl um it's like a hershey's bowl we got in new york city they are ice cream bowls i had like some sort of oh it's quinoa and i was letting her just like take a little like lick out of the I, I was done eating it i was just letting her lick like the last little bits of it and then she picked the bowl up afterwards and started walking out there i was like no because knowing her she's eventually gonna drop it onto the floor and it's gonna break and shatter but it didn't she dropped it in here okay i'm talking a lot and you know what that means that means i'm tired <laughs> i talk a lot when i'm tired i think it's my brain trying to keep me awake i just ran some cold water over my nails because i heard that when you put freezing water on your nails it helps them dry quicker because you know your nails are like dry but if you do like the slightest thing with it it's still gonna like mess up yeah that's what happened with my thumb these are not like the best painted nails can you see like the texture of it it's like it's okay they ask you how you are you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine but you just can't i'll get used to it and honestly my nails are growing faster because my nails have been painted and eventually at some point i get like really annoyed with my long nails and then i cut them so what is my dog getting into No. Gonna... No. I was just telling them you tend to get into stuff at night. Alright guys, I am going to end this video here. Sorry to be so like exhausted, but y'all saw how much I did today. <sighs> I'm very proud of myself. It always feels good to go to bed after a productive day because you're actually satisfied. I do tend to relax a lot, but it's nice to have productive days once in a while. It feels good. So, I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, if you made it all the way to the end, please give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already for more videos like this. Comment down below any video ideas you have for me because I feel like I'm starting to get into a creative rut. Like I do have ideas, but it's like not the time to film them or something that is like there's a certain time that oh that's being filmed like a later month or I don't even know. I just need some ideas and I want to know like what you guys want to see from me too. So definitely let me know in the comments down below and turn on the notification bell so you can notify whenever I post a brand new video. And with all of that being said, I will see you in my next one. Bye guys. People are gonna think I'm crazy filming myself taking the garbage out. Are those roosters? I'm bad with that kind of animal stuff. I'm not a zoologist or whatever they're called. Vibes.